This is so messed up. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. And guys, they just want to make Britney Spears look crazy. That's the goal right now. I called it yesterday after my video when, I, when they were saying her maid, the accusation that her maid made. Uh, it's all in an attempt to get the headlines and the press that aren't paying attention to make Britney look crazy. I, I firmly believe it. Uh, it. It all makes sense now. And I see other people coming to this conclusion and I realize I want to do another video just to make sure we're all on the same page. And for those of you that don't understand why I'm reporting on this so much, I, I want to make sure we get this woman free. And this man who's been behind it all, her father, Jamie, is the most corrupt, just despicable person out there, not taking any accountability, not acknowledging the fact that his daughter doesn't want her there anymore, and he doesn't care. Uh, and it's true. I, I, I got to apl applaud Adam here. It just put it. He's yes. Same conclusions, man. Uh, Jamie wants the public to believe he's gone. That's what he did first. Instead of filing his, his report, he leaked it to TMZ first. He's been working with TMZ for, for the past 13 years to have them on his payroll so they can do what he wants. Now, I don't believe TMZ is only loyal to him. TMZ is loyal to whoever is going to pay them. Um, but they're scums because for that very reason. And so, you know, he, he wanted the public to believe he's gone. So a lot of people have stopped talking about this story or taking it seriously because the headlines read, Jamie's leaving, but he hasn't, guys. Uh, add to that, um, you know, he wants to make it seem like, well, I'm not there anymore. I'm not involved. And so now he can do more of the setup to make her look like she's crazy without him. Uh, or the conservatorship, and of course, TMZ uh, will report. It's, it, it's this whole thing... Is, isn't it there's there's so much going on behind the scenes that I want to make sure I break down what's actually happening here Okay, so here's what here's what went, what down, went down and again I'm clicking on TMZ so you guys don't have to my one click hopefully will mean thousands of clicks for you because I can't stand this site They're garbage, uh, but here's they're reporting now it's more on Britney's side a bit, but still all of this makes her look crazy uh, Their dog her dogs were taken earlier from her uh, this month from her house uh, this was after the dog sitter and housekeeper believed the pets were being neglected, and that's what triggered the confrontation between Brittany and her housekeeper that led to the investigation that we reported on yesterday, and you might have seen headlines about it. Uh, sources directly connected to Brittany tell TMZ, uh, around two weeks ago, one of her dogs became sick, and the housekeeper took the dog uh, and Brittany's other dog to the vet. The dogs never came home. And our sources say Brittany's dog sitter, who is also a nurse, kept uh, and took care of the dogs because she believed they weren't safe at Brittany's home. Now, even just reporting on this, TMZ gets to sort of have, see, she's not normal, guys. She's not normal. She can't even handle her own dogs. She's crazy. We're told on August 10th, Brittany called the Ventura County Sheriff's Department due to report a theft, but when the cops arrived at her home, she backed off and sent them away. She, this was reported first by page six. Our sources say she was prepared to file a report, but apparently had a change of heart. That's why there was no record. Fast forward to this past Monday morning, Brittany still did not have her dogs and didn't know where they were, but suspected her dad had something to do with their disappearance. So Brittany confronted the housekeeper and demanded to know where her dogs were and why they were taken away. Our Brittany sources say the housekeeper expressed concern that the dogs had been neglected and uh, showed up uh, and showed Brittany photos she had taken on her cell phone of one of the dogs that had just thrown up. Pause there for a second. Housekeepers now, who you think is on your side, but is being paid by her father, who she's trying to remove, is you just discover she believes your dogs are sick, you're not taking care of them, oh, and I've been taking pictures of the dogs to, to prove it. Think about that. Someone who has the trust issues Br Brittany has of who could she trust and everything, everything's being policed. Now, are those going to Jamie? Well, she's being paid by Jamie. Wouldn't it make sense for those to go to Jamie? Uh, so all in all, th this isn't, this isn't, this doesn't look good. This could make anybody lose it. As I said yesterday, yes, so what if she got in an altercation or a disagreement rather with this housekeeper? She's allowed. And it turns out she had every right to be because this housekeeper took her dogs away and said, I don't think you're treating them rightly. Uh, I'm taking pictures and saying them. So Brittany believed the housekeeper who gets paid by Jamie was sending Jamie these photos and then called the dog sitter to t and told her to take the dog uh, and who told, told her to take the dogs away. Sources with direct knowledge say Jamie is totally in the dark on what goes on in her home, adding he's been shut out. So we have a conflicting report here of is this around? But I, 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 I defect, you know, to turn to you, audience, could Jamie be so calculated that he has people on the inside that he's maybe paying off with all the money he's made to do little things like this to make her seem crazy. Uh, Brittany became 
extremely upset again. This is all according to TMZ, so take it as you will. She became upset, told the housekeeper she was not allowed to take photos in her house. Then we're told a struggle ensued as Brittany knocked the phone out of her housekeeper's hands. Our Brittany sources say she merely hit the phone, but law enforcement sources say the housekeeper alleged Brittany struck her arm, which then caused her to lose her grip over her phone. Uh, as of Thursday afternoon, Brittany still did not get her dogs back, but she was hopeful to, that it was bound to happen. Uh, TMZ broke the story. The housekeeper filed a report, again, for money, guys. She just wants attention and money now. She knows she's out. Uh, and I'm sure Jamie's probably also rewarding her, too, allegedly. Um, uh, when the investigation is complete, the file will be sent to the DA for review for possible misdemeanor charge against Brittany, of course. Brittany's people believe this is nothing case that will never be filed. Uh, so Brittany's team's out there, and I imagine this is through her lawyer to try and defend this. But where things get even more interesting to show you how this all goes down and why I believe Jamie is in on this. Now, the conservative, again, this is also from page six, so take it as you will. Sadly, some of these times these gossip rags do have an inkling of something that's real. You gotta actually read it and bypass the reality of these articles. Uh, and what's interesting now is Jody and Jamie are now, technically, you'd think this would be Jody's responsibility. Why is this animal being taken away? Uh, and so now the conservators, Jamie and Jody, are bickering again, saying it's not, it's his fault, it's her fault. So following these claims, uh, Jody Montgomery's attorney said in an exclusive statement to page six on Friday today, Mr. Spears, who runs the estate of Miss Spears, has hired a day-to-day -day caretaker for Miss Spears' pets. Miss Montgomery has never been responsible for the care of the animals since she began working with Mr. Spear, with uh, Brittany, in September of 2000, 2019. So now you have Jody's team, Jody's lawyer, saying Jamie runs the estate and hired a day-to-day -day care caretaker. It's finances, whatever. That's that's part of. It. You could say, yeah, well, he's paying for it. He hires those people. They're in charge of it. So you'd think they'd be able to reach out to him, right? So she's saying it's all on him. He hired she he hires the the, the, the caretakers for her pets. Uh, while Jamie's attorneys did not immediately return uh, to page six's request, an insider has said Jamie is the conservator of the estate, not the, of the person. Jody Montgomery has been in control of the conservatorship of the person. Anything pertaining to animals would fall 100% under the conservator of the person. No. This is, this is where we all keep getting argued in semantics. No, Jamie's in charge of the estate, the money, it's a, all of that. So, of course, he could hire someone who has the day-to-day -day caretaking responsibilities and would be in charge with the pets, who could also... <laughs> be um someone who's you know able to take a call from said caretaker to be like take those dogs away um so uh source similarly told tmz that jamie is totally in the dark on what goes on in britney's home and he's been shut out now i believe that from a britney standpoint but i i don't believe he doesn't have his own little sparrows in there giving him intel right uh this is not the first time the conservatives have been at odds we, we know we know all these details but it's just very telling that Jody's immediately comes out and is like, dude, nice try, Jamie. You're in charge of the pets. Brittany's not crazy. You hired the person. So why would else? Who else is she doing this for? Now, unless Jody's lying, we need to discover that. It just seems highly unlikely at this point why she would want to get dirty on stupid things like taking pets away. I, again, I ask you, the audience, where, do, where, who do you, whose fault do you think this is? Could it be Jamie calculating and ways to have her spiral out of control? I mean, this is something that's happened a while, a while, a while ago, and I see a lot of the fans out there. This, the, the reality is here, she's testified that she has abandonment issues and that dogs provide her therapy with her anxiety. Taking her dogs is sick and humane. It's, it's a way for them to have her spiral out of control. As she said in her deposition, in the, you know, that, the testimony she gave, she, this, was when she, this was the moment in her deposition where she, got cry, where she started crying. Uh, she always said, I had to get a therapy dog who helps people with anxiety to sit with me crying. It's okay if you need a moment. It's fine. No, um, the dog would have to sit with me every time I would come in. All I've said in the past month, if it's not, I, I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. My dad needs to be removed today. I will not, and I will be okay with Jody if, with my future goals. Her, like, asking for permission again to not be so battered and, and uh, abused is what's happened to her. She's just so, she, she does need some rehabilitation to get back into real life, as she's saying right here. Just to get the effing confidence back to get into the real world because I really need it. They have just battered this woman down for so long and you wonder why we want to free Britney. I mean, come on. This is heartbreaking stuff, guys. It's heartbreaking. And, and you look at this and I see the fans. I see all you guys. Keep it going. First, they took her kids away. Then they isolated her from the world. Her inner circle is basically domestic staff hired by her dad. Now they took her dogs away from her. Their goal is to make me feel like I'm crazy. That's what's happening here. So, guys, look, 
I know I'm doing this report a lot, but I'm going to keep doing it. So thank you to everybody who watches. Share this. Get this out there. I appreciate we getting the word out because it's so important. I get to the people who are like, oh, Andy, why are you still doing it? Guys, it's because it's not done yet. It's not over. Every day she's going through this and these headlines from TMZ, from page six, they're all out there to feed little morsels to the press to find something to make her sound crazy because the media only likes to report when you're crazy. If you're innocent, you're not crazy, they do a story, but no one cl cl clicks on those as much. They, we, we click on the salacious stuff. That's what we do. Sometimes I do that on my, my titles to try and make it a little bit clicky or salacious. We, I don't try to, I never lie on my titles, but I try to, you know what I mean? That's what we all do. But, the, but these tabloids, they do it to a degree where it's just like so crazy. So many people, the, I'm calling it the Britney Smears. They do it where they just, so many people were reporting immediately after that TMZ report that she, you know, attacked her, her employee. And, and they made it sound way more vicious than it was. And that's where things get really scary for this whole case. So, guys, the reality is, I hope we, we yes, to, to follow what Brittany the stand says here, w w give her the dogs back. This isn't okay. Uh, th this is not okay. What's going on? We got to keep these attentions going because I know they don't like us making these videos and reports because it makes them look really, it makes them look crazy, not her, when we actually talk about it honestly. Uh, so thanks to everybody who's been out there following and supporting. We've got lots more coming. Yes, more Britney coverage, but also a lot more coverage next week. We're going to have such a fun party in Vegas. Uh, some of you may like the coverage. Some of you may not. But it's a chance to just meet some friends, go crazy. Uh, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, right? Hey, Britney was in Vegas too. Uh, and we have so much on, on store. You're not going to miss it. So make sure if you haven't already, hit that subscribe. Uh, there's going to be even some members-only portions you're not going to miss if you're a fan of this channel and this community. So hit the join or just at least smash the like button and leave a comment down below. So much more coming. And Monday, Monday, I'm dropping something extra special to start with the Vegas week. It is a Britney remix that I've been working on that a lot of you guys have been sending videos to. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I'm so proud of it. Dropping it Monday while I'm traveling, so I have some content for you guys next week. Uh, please stay tuned. Get excited. I don't want to overhype it, but I think it's a lot of fun. Some cameos, some fun stuff. So stay tuned for the Britney remix dropping on Monday. Uh, lots more for you as well. So thanks to all you've been watching. You guys are the best. 